So I've heard you say before that people are quitting today because of leaders, not because of companies. Yeah, I think that's right. You know, you have to we have to personalize uh, the problems that drive people to quit. And so the the statement "people leave leaders, not companies" is doing that. It's personalizing it. Now, there's there's two buckets of blame here, if you will, within that statement. Uh, one bucket is a leader did something harmful, right? Maybe they said something. Uh, maybe they they treated someone poorly in a sense of overlooking them, rejecting them, and not handling them the right way. Didn't communicate clearly, and just kind of pushed them out. Kind of like the really bad passive aggressive breakup, right? These are examples of a leader doing something incorrectly uh, or wrong. Doesn't always mean morally or ethically. The other bucket is is what the leader didn't do. So the first one, I think we all immediately go to that when I hear with that statement. Well, people leave leaders. Well, the leader did something wrong. Well, that's part of it, but. I think maybe even one of the bigger problems is that second bucket, this idea that it's people leave a leader because the leader didn't invest in that person. The leader didn't truly love that person. I think those are your two culprits in that bucket. And I think that that's the bigger problem, but it's not the one that's top of mind. Because I've said this on the show before, on the Ken Coleman Show, if you're you're new to me and you don't know what I do over on the Ken Coleman Show, I'm coaching people to live their best work life, right? And so I'm dealing with all kinds of people coming in going, I want to quit for this reason. I want to quit for that reason. And I will tell you that uh, many times, you know, you you hear somebody complain about, well, this, this, and this, um, and those are salacious. But I think most of the calls when someone wants to leave, it's because the leader was unaware I don't think the leader's a bad person in that situation. There's some toxicity, but there's a spectrum there. That's right. But there are some leaders who are good people. They're just bad leaders, right? Because they they haven't had the way, the right way modeled for them. They haven't been trained properly. And quite frankly, they may not be very good and want to do it. And so there's no application there. So that's the idea. And uh, leaders have to know more than ever that people are looking for a better life. And so when they're working for you, they want to know that you see them, that you value them, and that you will invest in them so that they can advance. And if they don't feel that, trust me, they're going to begin to look elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, we know companies have core values, right? They slap them on the walls. Maybe it's in a handbook somewhere. Very few live it out. But when it comes to leaders individually, Mm -hmm. what is the power of personal core values? Because that seems to be at the root of this issue. Well, right. You know, you are a person before you're a leader. And so the way you lead within a company or the way you lead at the top of the company, if it's your company or you're in senior leadership, has to come from your personal values. So values are what we believe and what we hold dear. Okay, so what we believe, these will be principled stands, some moral, some religious, whatever, and then what we care deeply about. And so values determine our actions. Someone could say, I value this, this, and this, but if their actions don't mirror or they aren't congruent or parallel to or supporting these statements, then we know that, well, this is just an image thing. You, you're just you're putting out this branding idea, but that's not what you actually believe or hold dear because your actions say otherwise. And so to, to get underneath desired action, so as a leader, you say, okay, this is how I want my team to perform, or this is what I want our company to be about. You first must look inward and say, what do I value? And, and really be honest with yourself because, again, your actions are already the evidence. So underneath your actions go, ooh, I may value something that I really don't want to value. I need to change that. Uh, Or if I go, this really matters to me, but I'm afraid to put a stake in the ground uh, and I need to start doing that so that my actions are bolder and better. That's why we look inward to what do I believe strongly and what do I hold dear to me? And so that's, that's why we look at personal values first for a company, a leader to then go, okay, this is what I want our company values to be.